and our new file save to sew feature allows you to once you have it how you want it to look and before you go to sew it out you can come into the save to sew which again was file save to sew now you're going to come in and tell it what type of fabric you're going to be sewing onto so like in let's say that I want this to go on to a knit t-shirt so I can come down here and I can select knit t-shirt you will notice that there are three different settings under knit t-shirt and each one of these operates a little bit different just to let you know really quickly a neat knit t-shirt um, the one that doesn't have another word after it just means that that's a design that you digitized and that you're ready to do a save to sew. Um, the knit t-shirt auto is set up for those who have our auto digitizing or digitizing pro or embroidery suite pro that allow you to put more pull compensation into a design um, and your t-shirt knit t-shirt bold is set up for if you want it to be a little bit more dense than normal your design typically we use just the standard in the lettering pro so I'll just select knit t-shirt the next thing I want to do is hit next and what this is going to do the save to sew features is going to apply a new density it's going to apply a new underlay setting and it's going to apply a new pull compensation for this design using the stitches that we chose to use and so now I'm going to hit apply and it just tells you that changing the styles is recommended only for designs composed in this application do you want to continue this will always pop up go ahead and say yes now it's going to apply it the next thing I do when I hit next is it's going to tell me what type of stabilizer to use for knit t-shirt fabric using a design such as the one that we created and this does give you the option to print it when I hit finish look at the lettering and notice how things will change when I hit finish I'm not going to go ahead and save this if you wanted to save it at this time you would select the spot where you want to save it give it a name and I always recommend saving um, the initial copy as a Floriani C2S design even if you need to use um, you will have to select a different one for sewing out the design but you always want to save the design in both this format this Floriani C2S and also in the format that you need for sewing your design you will see that there's a lot of different um, options available but for your initial save go ahead and save it as a Floriani C2S the reason you do that is when you bring this design back up you will be able to have better control in editing and changing your design. If you save this as a sew file, you are going to lose a lot of editing capabilities. Um, you will need to save it as a sew file when you go to sew it out on your fabric, but initially save it as a C2S format and then hit save. In this case, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. But you will notice that all the lettering um, got thicker in the design and what that did is it put new pull compensation in. It also changed the underlay settings um, to sew out on knit t-shirt fabric where it has a zigzag underlay and it changed the density of, of it as well. All those settings are to ensure that you get the best sewing um, possible for that type of fabric. This is a really neat feature that people love and this is what makes us a little bit different than than other digitizing programs so we just showed you how to open an existing design add lettering to it adjust the lettering and how to save the design um, for sewing um, now we need to select the type of format that we want for our sew disk so after we did that save to sew and got it set up for knit t-shirt fabric we would come into file and go to save as and at this point we have the basketball in the C2S format I'm gonna go ahead and save this one because this is a modified one I'm gonna go in here and save it I like to just use a number saying it's basketball too I want to always save 
one copy in a C2S format. And then I will come up in here again and go to File, Save As. And now I'll select the type of format I need for my machine. So let's say that I am working um, with a, a brother machine and I need to use the PES version 6. So what I can do is I can come down here and I can select the Babylock Brother Bernina format of PES version 6. And then I can hit save. And what that's going to do is it's going to now be saved. Now I can take that design and I can go and um, take it to the machine and, and sew it out. And one of the things that, that you'll want to pay attention to as you're saving a design is to select the folder in which you want it to save to. And remember that folder so that when you go in to get the design to take it to your machine, that you will remember where it's at. That concludes this little training. Make sure that you check out the other videos on how to work more extensively with editing the text.